Hey guys, the chickens here, back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, feeling a little bit better. <clears throat> you can see I got my uh, I got my nose strip on to get some oxygen into the chicken's beak, which is helping. And uh, finally got some medicine, so I think things are going to be on the up and up uh, for the next few days. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, even in better news, well, it's uh, it's a disgusting meta. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not easy. It's not fun. But we're going to show you how you can survive. So. Um, we got some new build more. Ooh, we got a bunch of safes there. I like that. I like the safes because you can uh, you can beat the um, <clears throat> the game storage on them, so you can get as many as you want and keep them there forever, and they can't get raided, which is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, if you're gonna pick this up. Appreciate you. Just go chicken shop. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys. But here's where we're at today. So we got up to global 190, which is good. And we're using a dirty birdie of a base here, and I'm going to go over some attack strategies. <clears throat> the good news is, everything we're going to show you, although it's very annoying and it's kind of dumb, it's very easy. So um, the only problem is going to be is if you don't have the tech um, on defense. Like if you're mid 5 ER, it's going to be really tough to do anything. Um, but the good news is if you match fives, you can still clear them so you can get engine. You match something like this, most people aren't clearing it. Some people do, but it's pretty few and far um, in between. You'll see a lot of these losses. We're not really uh, collecting a lot of engines here. <laughs> this one was so funny. This guy that I matched, he was literally, as you can see, he had he was 70 R. He didn't do anything. He didn't deploy his troops. He went into the battle. He instantly retreated because he knew that I wasn't going to be able to get any engines on him. Um, which, looking at the base, I probably could have got one at least. Um, I don't know what my problem was, but he had 100% uh, DBD, um, no troop health, just a very funny base, um, and 50 building health. So, I mean, yeah, if I had known this, I m might have been able to rifle Zuko one of them out, um, if I really went for it. But it was just funny that he didn't do anything and he still won. Um, just because he had one more engine than I did at the beginning of the battle, so... <laughs> that, that stuff aside, this is Knight Wada's base. He typically runs a lot of defensive bases, and he's like rank 23 right now. So I figured I'd give it a try, and it did work very well. Most people fizzled or were not able to get a lot of engines. So let's go over the tech tree here. Now, <clears throat> some decisions to make. I think what's most important when you go to 6ER is you've got to figure out what tech you have. So... If you picked up rocket choppers, then of course you want to get heavy choppers, and with that you probably want barrage and artillery. If you didn't, like me, I skipped it, um, I think that the correct play is to go through the negative node rather than laser rangers, um, and rather than heavy choppers, because heavy choppers aren't going to do that much, and without the rockets and the shocks, you know, you're probably not clearing that much either. So... <clears throat> <coughs> So the plan was, take another negative gunboat energy, again, we don't need it, it's only minus 20%, it's not the end of the world. Get to the rockets, get those maxed, add the damage amp, which we did, um, and then our next chest, we can get shock launchers, and then if we make 22, we might have a chance of getting the DVD if the chicken's math is correct, which would um, ideally give us a chance of making 23, if all goes according to plan. But we'll see what happens there. So. Um, yeah, some decisions to make, and it depends on what you've got so far. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I swapped from the Flotsam to the Simo, which was an interesting choice, but it makes sense because a lot of people are running, you know, tanks or grens for the most part. That's what's, you know, able to clear some engines. Um, Flotty on a cluster base, not as important. And also the Flotty, when it blows up, it will damage your defenses, so... Um, something to keep in mind. If people are using rifles and zookas against rock launchers, they're not usually lasting very long. Um, <clears throat> still got the troop boost over here on the Grens, which is actually, you know, I, I said this was a mistake at the beginning of the season. Uh, we could. I wonder how the medic boost would go. Um, I said it was a mistake, but we've got a ton of use out of it. We've used the Grens a lot. Um, I swapped the uh, mortar to the flamethrower here. And what else did we do? What was the, where's the damage amp? The damage amp was on the prototype that I think was the shock blaster. Yeah. So it's a level two damage amp, so it does help. 
especially on a clustered base like this. <laughs> you big goose. Fuck is just looking up at me with the line on his back, with the towel on his mouth. All right, so let's go over some attacks. Um, we'll start off on this one. Okay, so a lot of we we've seen this base a million times. You guys know how to hit it. Um, what I will say I have been doing differently on these ones though is instead of um, I might have done it on this one actually. So yeah, I've been coming from the bottom more because it's been a little bit easier rather than than doing the delay drop tank from the top. And what makes that a lot easier is having medkits. Medkits actually make a decent bit of difference, as long as Kavan doesn't die like he did right there. Um, they can help your rifles survive a little bit longer. They can help your troops survive just a little bit longer um, <clears throat> in order to, <coughs> you know, get the next thing down and, and get some more GB and second wind and all that stuff. Um, let's go over the last hit here. So... We were able to finish this one, and I believe we use Grenz, so I'll put it in four speed. So this is how we're using Grenz. Uh, I like five Grenz, three medics, and then what I'll usually do is I'll throw Kavan out at the same time, and I'll start him off with a second one, so it's kind of like adding a Boda Rifleman at the beginning. And that's helpful just because um, you kind of want to constantly be replenishing Riflemen. Obviously, if you lose a lot of Grenz, you want them back, but um, with this strategy, the idea is not to lose any Grenz. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, the idea is the rifles can kind of tank a little bit of the splash, keep it off the grens at the beginning. This guy didn't have rockets, so if the bases don't have rockets, you should be able to clear them. With grens, you'll get a slow time, but I mean, if you're running a fizzle base like I am, that's all that really matters. Um, and yeah, so I mean, if you can get a few second win wins off before Kavan dies, keep everybody together. I like to flare them down, um, because that keeps them shooting in a line. The, the awkward thing about these bases is they'll kind of come around this corner, and they'll shoot right, they'll shoot center, and they'll shoot left, and they won't really um, focus their uh, their damage enough to get anything down. They'll kind of just... So you got to make sure they're in the right position. Um, so that was kind of against my base. This was a garbage win, but I'll take it. So this guy's uh, running the same setup for the most part. <coughs> I think what's really going to make this good is the DVD. I did hear some players say it made more sense to go with shock launchers first. And if you are going to do what I'm doing with the dirty base, then go DVD, then go rocket launchers, because the DVD, I guess, makes a really big difference. But um, I don't know. I found I've struggled a lot more, as you can see here, on the rocket bases than anything else. So I wanted to make sure that we uh, we had those guys first up and ready to go. So, um, so yeah, there it is, guys. Two weeks left. Lots of time. Lots of time. If you're not in Diamond, don't stress. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, just stick with your plan, and I think that makes sense. If you got rocket choppers, you might have a good window as everyone's kind of Ding up like I am. <clears throat> and you could go HCRC with artillery and barrage, that's gonna be nice. Um, but yeah, I think they should have put all the stuff in 70R and 60R, and all the stuff in 60R and 70R, um, just so it's not so fizzly. But this is what we're dealt with, so we gotta make it work. Um, so yeah. We'll see how the shock launchers do. Um, we got six hours before that chest comes in, so um, hopefully it's good. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know how you're making out in the season, what's working for you, and what is not. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Chicken out, backpack.